Hey guys, welcome to another episode of War of the Dork, episode 67. Uh, we're up against Baby Yoda. Always a fun war. Love the guys over there, especially Pablo. Shout out to Pablo if you're watching this. Uh, it's always a great war. So we get Legion, then Yoda, then Mutiny. Three killers back to back. Very fun. Uh, we're going to beat one of them one day. Will it be today? Gotta watch, find out. Uh, with that said, I'm trying to limit the music on the video. Some people are telling me that's distracting, but I gotta work on the gate of my mic. Uh, so I've noticed it's picking up some things I don't want it to pick up, especially because I got a little bit of a cold. Hope that's not too distracting. Hope you enjoy the video, and I'll see you in a bit. Peace. All right, we're up against Baby Yoda, and we have officially like 40 minutes to get all these fights in because I'm solo parenting tonight, which is kind of irrelevant right now because this video won't come out for quite a while, but we got to do good, and we got to keep one ear open for the baby. So far, so good. Quick dubs. No holding back. We're not waiting for special attacks. We're just keep attacking what we can when we can. Disrupt. Vulnerable. Death, so no defense. Up. Uh, you know what? Sure. Let's take out Strafe. Daredevil does so much more damage than people give him credit for. We'll take out Sinister. We'll throw this on auto. It's one of eight. Did we break the 45 minute timer yet? I don't think so. Twitch timer shows me we've been on for three minutes. Let's go, 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 go. Load faster. Alright, so this is our uh, server Merc team that we all know how to counter. We're using our Astonishing X Men Uncanny Hybrid. It's a punch down, but who cares? I gotta go. We gotta go, 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 go. When that baby wakes up, he's pissed, so no holding back. He's dead. We'll cleanse the. Uh, oh, there's no blinds on anyone to cleanse, so that's okay. I was supposed to be going for the riot guard. I don't know why I switched up. Doesn't matter with that offense up. He's just going to kill Phoenix, who throws defense down. Do this. Uh, let's do this because it'll probably kill Taskmaster. There you go. We all turn me to rewind her so she doesn't even get to use her special. Let's just go ahead and kill Emma. Sure, let's see if we can get a slow on him or peel that offense up off of him. Wow, we're just getting everything we want this fight. Wow, you're so dominant. Mega counter. Let's go for the blind. Perfect. Let's just kill him. Let's throw it on auto. Alright, two fights down. Let's keep going. Go, 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 go. Load faster. You're eating up all my time. Alright, next fight. Alright, uh, I'm going to be accused of Emma hunting, but we need to do this fast, so... Let's go beat up another, well, I guess Marauder hunting now. X Factor crushes them. Let's go ahead and. I don't know. It doesn't really matter who we do this on. They're all going to die very quickly. Defense down. Uh, sure, let's kill Minerva. Bring them together, plus put the on strafe. Ghost, I guess, is gonna die. Not sure why she decided to do that, but whatever. AoE auto. I don't know what I'm wasting time for. Go, 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 go. Doops, 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 go. There we go. Next fight, big brain.
Mess. All right, uh, we're doing a bit of a punch up with our Eternals, but it's Eternals, so we're gonna beat this in like two seconds. I'll try and beat this fight faster than Twitch catches up on the lag. See if that's possible. It's already not possible. Yo-Yo's animations just take too long. Massive rewinds for everybody. Doc Ock is already dead. Let's do another rewind here. Then let's have Emma throw slow out there. Cool. Let's spread off Doc Ock since she kept the defense down. You know what? Everyone's not dead though because I forgot I was supposed to take... Um, I was supposed to take Doc Ock over Hela. I don't know why I didn't. Silly me. You got a defense win? I will check it after we're done this. Just then on Yo-Yo, so no more defense or offense down. But Crystal's still alive, so that was a waste. It's whatever. Let's go ahead and throw a blind on Doc Ox so his alt does nothing. Actually, he hasn't taken a turn yet, eh? Ah, it doesn't matter, he's dead. All right, put on auto. Oh, no. He used one of my teams and lost? What did he... Uh... What did he do? I'll have to dead the stream before I open it up. All right, next fight. All right, Secret Avengers events. Uh, uncanny, or sorry, not Uncanny. Inhuman Coulson with a, uh, a Doc Ock thrown in the mix. No Emma, though. Crystal instead Emma, which is pretty annoying. So I'm... We're not in Reactor, so let's spread all that. I kind of want to kill Coulson before he gets a turn. I would need to strip him, though. Now let's go for the yo-yo. Resisted, that's okay. We'll be able to stun the Coulson. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want to use it on Yo-Yo. She just dodges too damn much. Too dang much. Sorry. Language. She cannot dodge this. Undodgeable attacks for the win. There goes Doc Ock. There's the stun. She has immunity, so we're gonna use her alt on Yo-Yo and hope that it works. Youch! No, 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 no. Ooh, that could have been so bad. If she dodges, well, then that sucks. I don't like characters that dodge. I don't think they're fair or fun. Let's give energy up before he dies. There is a world where she stops dodging, but not this world. There we go, we get the heal, that's good. We could take him out of stealth, but I don't think we need to. Let's go for the Coulson kill before he does his ult. Come on now. We have a bunch of deflex for when Black Bolt ults, so I'm not too worried about that. I just don't want to eat the Coulson ult at the same time. Uh, we're still going to go for Yo-Yo. Breaking my own don't tunnel dodge characters rule, but only because she already activated the crystal passive. Oh yeah, that didn't hurt very much at all. All right, strike a bonus, let's go. Very nice, she cannot dodge this. Do we get a rewind from the troopers? Nope. I don't like this leg. Oh, come on. That fury passive assist almost got the job done. She has to dodge this, it's fine. Oh my god, how big is this yo-yo? Or how big was that yo-yo? Spread these buffs. Speed and defense up. Let's get a slow on Black Bolt. And then we'll throw it on auto. 
Ah, yeah, the Fury assist that uh, called Sharon in there stopped Crystal from using her special or passive. It was great. All right, let's get to another fight. That took a long time. So we're in a race. We're not taking any chances. We're going to Infinity Watch this uh, Surfer Mercs team. A very big team. I already used my Astonishing X-Men team, nor would I recommend using the Astonishing X-Men team on a Merc team this big because with security and everything, you're just asking for trouble. So let's... Uh, do I care about dodges? I guess... Mm, not really. It's whatever. Let's uh, let's just start over here. I think this match is still losable, if I'm being honest with you. So we're not going to try and be too fancy with it. We're going to go Merc Lieutenant, Taskmaster. Oh, <laughs> what did that surfer? Dude, chill out. All right, this is good. We're going to get to steal a Death Proof. I don't like this lag. Blue stacks, don't you dare do this to me. Do not infinity watch eternal teams. You will lose. You mirror it with Emma and Loki if you have to. Right, did he drop his defense down? Or defense up with that? Perfect. Uh, he doesn't have any deflex. Take the safe kill. We could have killed the lieutenant too. That was a mistake. All right, yeah, should have killed the lieutenant. We're definitely gonna rewind the surfer. Plus the slow, fantastic. Uh, Counterattacks will be a good idea here, sure. Man, so much healing coming out of that Merc Lieutenant. Let's take him out. And we'll take surfer out. Just because we have the offense up and he's got the vulnerable. I don't know if he'll bleed out to that, actually. No. No, he got called in for the assist, of course. Silly me. Ooh, resisted the stun. Oh, Striker, Adam Warlock pays off. Striker, Adam Warlock on all matches except against Heroes for Hire. Yeah, Merc's, Merc Surfer Emma is no joke. All right, so I'm glad we got that out of the way. Now we gotta go find ourselves the Heroes for Hire. Next fight. All right, so we're using our uh, Astonishing X-Men killing team. I wish it had Phoenix on it to make this a little more interesting, but that's okay. Start with the defense up. Go ahead and ability block the bishop. And now let's pick their lowest health person to push into yellow. That's going to be Kitty. Easy push. The dodge. No. All right, we still got the push. We're good. Shit went for Ice Man. I forgot Kitty dodge. She probably had the buff and everything. Looks like we didn't get energy, but this is definitely going to kill Kitty here. And then Deathpool's going to come in and kill Jubilee, and then it's over. So even when Dagger doesn't get the energy, it's pretty GG over. Hey, lots of buffs you got over there, Bishop. Let me, let me holler at those, man. Crack. The reason I did the basic and not the special there is because the ISO attack hits so damn hard once you have offense up that you might as well steal the offense up. And then the ice attack will have offense up. It's beast dead. Yeah, beast dead. And now offense up special. Gonzo. Big brain. Alright. We just have weapon X left. We gotta find a heroes for hire to fight. Let's go. All right, we're using our Skeletary Doom against this Brotherhood Doom. No death pool on this one. Small punch up. We do have Rhino. 
Uh, we may not even bother using the benefits of Rhino. He's really there for giant punch-ups, so you can get those first rounds of attacks in. We'll see. Did we keep the taunt? That'd be super awesome if we did. Yeah, nice. Let's clear the blinds so we have the uh, option here. So... We didn't get a crit on him. I'm gonna save it. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. Ouch. Blob does so much damage. That was so, so scary. If Falcon died there, we would have instantly lost. Yes, we're gonna use this. I wanna hit the Doom at least a little bit here. That slow shouldn't matter because it was a boosted team. We will find out. I don't want my Falcon to die, so I'm going to use heal here. And we'll see if this Toad is going to actually kill him or not. Perfect, he didn't. There we go, that's lots of damage onto the Juggernaut. Ooh, I really don't know if we have enough here. My Doom will go first regardless. Let's take this Blob out. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work. This only works if we get through this uh, juggernaut here. Okay, we did. Perfect. Now Punisher is going to go ahead and finish this job. There you go. I love, love Punisher, bro. He's so much damage. All right, so that's eight for eight. Uh, all this stuff in the future will be on the phone. So later for now. All right, so this is a bit awkward, but I accidentally threw too much on defense. I needed to keep my Symbiotes and Doc Ock for a different team. Uh, so I kind of got to make something work here. Now, luckily, there are some weak teams to do this with. And after I do this match, I'm only going to have my Weapon X and my X-Force left. Pretty small X-Force, too. Um, and I have to make two more wins out of those. So we're going to do this one for now. Pretty big punch up, but it, we have a big dock ock. We're gonna add some deflex. They will be okay. It's Shocker and Mysterio that are small, and they're basically just kit based people, so I think we're gonna be fine. Famous last words, let's go. So far, we're perfect. We're 8 for 8. Let's try and make it 9 for 9. We're gonna go for 11 on 11, and then. I mean, yeah, if it goes to the next energy, I will have nothing, but I can maybe do a burner. Let's go ahead, heal him up. Let's put slow. He's just gonna get cleansed anyway. Let's do it here. Perfect. So the cleanse actually goes before Electro, which is good. Get the offense down. Throw it over here. Swarm. We're just going for the Miss Marvel. I just feel they need to do it. Obviously, we're not worried about the. Squirrel Girl ult, because I mean, offense down is not something we have to worry about. I'm a little worried about just losing people to to crazy focus, but we'll see. This actually does a lot of damage. Uh, well, I guess not my I have a small guy. There we go. Well, with one dead, they're just going to start falling over now. Again, I've not really used the Tridental Sinister Six as much as I probably should. They're a good team. I should build them up to counter Black Order, because straight Sinister Six definitely does work. Let's go for Chavez, just because. She's going to have her cleanse up next turn, so let's take her out. I think she'll bleed out. I'm not sure. I have a pretty big swarm. Oh, that'll take her out. Alright, cool. So, we got that to work which means we have our big Weapon X and a um, X-Force left. Lots of X's. So there you go, I lied. This is now the last footage. The next step will be on the phone. Peace for now. Bing. All right, so these are the, uh, the last two fights of the Baby Yoda War. 
I didn't get a... Well, I did get 11 fights in. Oh, this is 10 and 11. Sorry, the, the numbers are labeled wrong. This is fight number 10. And this is X-Force versus Sinister Six. Uh, when doing this matchup, you just kind of make sure that your Negasonic and your uh, X-23 are similar power levels to the Doc Ock. Normally, people aren't going to have the rest of the Sinister Six built up as much as him anyway. So as long as you're able to kill him after the fact, you'll be fine. Which is very easy to do when you have everybody alive because you've murdered everybody else around Doc Ock. You just get, you see, peppered with these dodges from uh, Cable Passive. So now we gotta kill the dupes, and then we gotta kill this vulture. Should just go for the basic here, get rid of these dupes. There you go. We go for the ability block on the Doc Ock. I was hoping for a, uh, a block, but we didn't quite get it. I think we can kill him right away, or might take a little bit to kill him. So you see we had five dodges there, so we're all good. <clears throat> Sorry, fighting off a cold for like the last week and a half. So we're pretty much just waiting for X-23 to have her special and her ultimate back up again. Especially if Doc Ock has a deflect at that point, then X-23 is going to murder him. Oh, Negasonic got pretty close there. It's unfortunate that he keeps putting slow on X-23. Looks like Negasonic's actually about to have her abilities back up too, which is kind of crazy. I'm using the Deadpool basic there because I want the uh, extra chances to get the vulnerable from the raider. Here you go, that vulture is actually going to help us out because it lets us uh, ping back and forth with the ultimate. Now we're going to get to use, well, we actually just go for the X-23 ultimate, not a bad idea, as it does work out and kills him. So there you go. So that was a slight punch up. Yeah, sorry guys, my throat has been crazy. Breathing's been pretty labored. Uh, so this is attack number 11. And we're doing a 100k punch up into Heroes for Hire. As you see, we haven't done one of those yet. So we're taking our Weapon X and we're gonna go against a pretty big punch up even though all the rooms are down at this point. And uh, my Omega Red has the most health by far of my teammates. So I kind of have to ability block the Misty. Uh, and if it doesn't land, it's, it's problems. I, I I really should switch Omega Red to Skirmisher, but I have such a hard time justifying the, uh, the blue ions. Anyway, we go from here. We try and put uh, offense down on Shang-Chi, but it does get resisted, unfortunately, despite Sabretooth Special not being able to be blocked. It was just straight up resisted. Now we're stuck on the Luke Cage. Go ahead and rewind over there just because get that offense up to bait out the Iron Fist ultimate onto Lady Deathstrike. See, Wolverine gets pretty dangerously low, so we're really happy we have that T4 on him. Because if he dies and gives offense down to everybody, especially Omega Red, that's pretty pretty bad when we try and do the big flip. The flip is how we win the fight. So there you go, there's the big flip. See all those debuffs like crazy. Colleen is actually already dead, which is nice. We use that ultimate here, I'm sure. Start picking people apart. Still stuck behind this Luke Cage, unfortunately. And this uh, Shang-Chi is not taking his uh, charges down. He's just barely shy. We take out the Misty, but Shang-Chi alone is not going to beat us up, so we get through it just fine. So it's a 100k punch up. That was the last fight. I was very surprised to find the Heroes for Hire that big after all the buff rooms were down, but good use of my team. Kind of happy I held on, but as you see, they beat us, and I didn't actually get a 12th attack in. Some people did. I still got the MVP, though. That's pretty cool. It's always a nice little nod. 
Anyway, guys, I hope you liked that video. I hope the memes weren't too distracting. Maybe a little bit of fun. Maybe I need to improve my cultural tastes. You guys, let me know in the comments. If you like this, this video, please like, subscribe. Uh, check me out on Twitch Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and I'll check you next time. Peace.